think you're crazy? Yes. <laughs> to see Candace Williams go through her day. I work out four to five times a day. It seems as if she's running away from something. Sorry, I have to clean the machine. She is a kinetic constant looking to get as far away as she can. Got to stay hydrated. <laughs> Not so much from herself. I always take a picture of each workout. <laughs> as from her former self. 60 floors in 18 minutes. <sighs> I want to climb the Empire State Building. This is the old me, um, my first day here at 460 pounds. And unfortunately, I just wish I could erase, erase her. She's two thirds of the way there. But to know her story, you have to go back. She has, understandably, few pictures of when she was younger. Dad, I got called, um, you know, hippo and all the different animals. Um, I got pushed down the stairs and they sung the Walmart song, rolling, rolling, rolling. Like, it was, it was pretty bad. Candace had no idea how heavy she'd gotten because she hadn't weighed herself in years. Didn't want to know. So when getting on the scale was required for her current job, she couldn't believe what she saw. Like I ne it never crossed my mind that I would be that big that a scale, you know, said error <laughs> and couldn't even tell me how big I was. Not far from a quarter ton, but the real weight was on her sense of who she was. That my self-worth has pretty much been demolished. Like the whole reason I even started was um, not to be healthy. I didn't, I didn't care about that. I wanted to be wanted. I wanted to be desired. You know, I wanted to be somebody besides just n a nobody. Candace's job is about the only thing that can get her to sit still. So any break she gets from work becomes a chance to hit the gym. I can do cardio for hours. I love it. Just and her incredible transformation <laughs> has made her an inspiration to others, even gotten her a number of public speaking gigs where she insists it all starts with accountability. I tell everyone, even if it hurts, yeah, I don't like to say, you know, Candace, it was your fault, but it was my fault. You know, I, I, I did that to myself. I hated myself that bad. And so, like, on the day that I have school or something like that, I can't really work out before class, so I'll eat something light. Like she teaches people about how her transformation began. I usually come down here and get a salad. Okay. And then if they have broccoli, I always check to see if they have broccoli. With what she eats. It used to be filled with soda and chips. So how does this compare with what you might have eaten a few years ago? Oh, wow. Well, normally there'd be a... French fries are definitely somewhere on the plate. And although she's lost nearly two-thirds of herself and doing things she never dreamed she could do, including starting a journey to climb the highest peak in all 50 states, four down, 46 to go, yet it seems she can never quite outrun that person she once was. But even after four years, I still can't look in a mirror. Every day I have to get up and tell myself, you know, I'm worth, I'm worth, I'm worth it. So... It's hard, but you know, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Going from 460 pounds to 180 has some challenges. She'll lose another 20 pounds if she can get the surgery to remove her excess skin. It used to be down to here. But Candace is discovering that less can be more. And now that she's found herself here, she promises she will never return to where she was. Never going back. Bob Buckley. Absolutely not, ever. Fox 8 News.